Greece has a proud reputation as the birthplace of democracy, of government by the people for the people. But to the ethnic Turkish minority of Thrace in the country's northeast, who say they've suffered decades of discrimination from the state, that's not how it seems today. We've been to investigate. Western Thrace, the northeastern corner of Greece, bordering Bulgaria and Turkey, is wild and remote. The Rhodope Mountains, which straddle these three countries, form a spectacular natural frontier. The history of this region is no less dramatic. It has changed hands countless times over the centuries finally coming under Ottoman rule in the 1300s, which lasted until about a hundred years ago. But even today, the mountainous province of Western Thrace, which is now governed from Athens, continues to simmer with ethnic tensions. 150,000 ethnic Turks live here, and they are getting angry. The Greek state wants to control the minority here in all the fields wants to control our religion, our belief. People here say that decades of discrimination have pushed the region to boiling point. Hep aynı şekilde devam edildi baskılara. Sizin anlayacağınız Atina'da iktidara hangi parti gelirse gelsin. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is viewed as a hero here. He's condemned Athens over the mistreatment of ethnic Turks in a region where religious leaders have been jailed, journalists silenced, and land seized by the state. Ya da kendi kimliğinizi gizleme, saklama ya da bunu özgürce ifade edememe durumunda kalıyorsunuz. Within the safe confines of the many cultural associations across Thrace, Turkish traditions are celebrated and passed on to youngsters. Biz bunu severek ve isteyerek çocuklarımız gönüllü olarak farklı okullardan gel gelerek yapıyorlar. E, temsil olarak eskiden eskiyi anımsatmak için çalışmalarımıza devam ediyoruz ve bunları gelecek nesillere iletmek için her şey. Traditions are strong, especially in the villages, where many ancient practices continue to thrive. However, community leaders say that their distinctive ethnicity is under siege from the state. Şu anlaşılıyor ki Yunanistan'ın Yunan devlet olarak kendi topraklarında yaşayan azınlıklarla ilgili etnik azınlıklarla milli azınlıklarla ilgili. Ozan's NGO, the Turkish Union of Xanthi, was founded in 1927 in order to preserve Turkish culture. But when a court ruling forbidding any NGO from having the word Turkish in its title came into effect, its signs along with those of other NGOs were seized by the police, a move Ozan successfully challenged in Europe. Ne yazık ki özetle söylemek gerekirse ne yazık ki bu dava yani Avrupa İnsan Hakları Mahkemesi kararı 2008 yılından bugüne kadar yani 2020 yılına kadar 12 yıldan beri Yunanistan tarafından uygulanmıyor. Discrimination starts early here. Last year the Greek Education Ministry shut down five Turkish minority schools bringing the total number of schools closed to 65 in just eight years. Now in his 40s, Cesar Riza went to this Turkish-speaking school in the village of Kalamakostro, as did his parents and their parents. 
its sudden closure has dealt a heavy blow to the community. Ufak oğlum, bu okula kaydı olmuştu. Bu okulda e, okula başlayacaktı. Aynen büyük oğlum gibi, bu, büyük oğlum bu okul mezunu. Keşke e, kapatılmasaydı e, diye düşünüyorum. Burada amaç azınlık okullarının son bulması ve azınlık okullara giden çocukların devlet okullarına kanalize edilmesi. Böylece azınlık çocuklarının kendi kültür daireleri içerisinde yetişmelerine engel olmak, uzun vadede bu çocukları asimile etmek. The government closed the Turkish schools, citing lack of demand. But according to the community, there are actually too many students for the number of places available. In fact, the situation has become so acute in Thrace's second city, Xanthi, that a policy of splitting up the school day into two shifts was introduced, resulting in substantially fewer hours of schooling per day for ethnically Turkish children. Hundreds poured onto the streets to protest the move. It is widely seen as part of a broader policy to phase out the Turkish language in the region. Bu süreç içerisinde, çünkü asimilasyon ve entegrasyon arasındaki çizgi de çok ince. Bu süreçte ben çocukların kültürü iyi öğrenemedikleri zaman ana dillerini. E, yavaş yavaş kaybedeceklerini ve e, toplumun içerisinde, Yunan toplumun içerisinde bu kültür e, kaybolacak e, süreç içerisinde. Critics also accuse the Greek state of attempting to impose religious leaders on the Turkish minority. The region has traditionally elected its muftis, like Ibrahim Serif, who represents Komotini, the region's capital. Unsurprisingly, the majority of Turks refuse to recognize those directly appointed by the government. When Komotini's appointed mufti was invited to speak at a minority school, the students made it very clear he wasn't welcome and barred his entrance. 2020 itibariyle e, aynen müftüyü atadığımız gibi biz istediğimiz din görevlisini köye bizim atadığımız adam kaldıracak. Senin evlilik nikahını da e, o adam kıyacak. Senin istemen önemli değil, bizim tayin ettiğimiz kişi. Ibrahim Serif was elected mufti of Komotini with a resounding 90% of the vote. He's less popular with the Greek authorities. He has just been sentenced to an 80-day prison term for usurping authority by taking part in Friday prayers at a nearby village in 2016. Orada bulundum sadece o kadar. Evet, e, şimdi e, şöyle söyleyebilirim. E, aynı takibi ben de devamlı uğruyorum. Mesela nedir bu? He says he had no explanation as to why the state waited four years to put him on trial. But the 69-year-old Mufti knows he's been in the authorities' sights for some time, followed, threatened, and regularly taken in for questioning by the secret police. Bilmiyorum. Yani belki de biz artık e, bu olaylara alıştık. Bize pek de anormal artık gelmiyor. Yani rutin bir olay gibi geliyor artık bize. Bir e, geto e, hayatı yaşıyorduk. Many trace Greece's attitude to his ethnic Turks back to the Cyprus conflict of 1974, when due to increasing ethnic tensions between the island's Greek and Turkish communities, Turkey launched an invasion. More than 500 people died in the fighting, which resulted in the partition of Cyprus. From this point on, the Greek state refused to recognize the ethnicity of its Turkish citizens. Akşamları biz Türk olarak e, yatağa yattık diyebiliriz biraz plakatif ifade etmek gerekirseydi. Ve sabahleyin kalktığımızda da e, Yunan Müslüman olarak e, kahvaltımızı e, almış bulunuyor. Her zaman e, arada çeken bir azınlık olarak e, olduk. 
ve 74'te Kıbrıs e, sorununa ilgili. Something like 60,000 ethnic Turks were stripped of Greek citizenship. Gerçek anlamda Yunanistan'da vatansız olarak yaşamak zorunda olmuş insanlar da e, kalmıştı. Bu insanlar aslında onlara e, insan hakları ile konuları ile ilgilenen kişiler, bunlara hayalet insanlar diyorlardı. Bu insanların hiçbir hakkı yoktu burada. Before 1990s, uh, we couldn't get a driving license. So what, what were you supposed to do? Actually, uh, almost all Turkish community, Turkish people here, uh, had uh, horses. In fact, many Turkish villages were sealed off by military checkpoints well into the 1990s. Places like the village of Echinos, Okte Hoka, was a boy at the time, but remembers it well. This ended in the mid-90s. Until then, for somebody who was from other part of Greece, it was not possible for him to come in this area without any specific permission. Why you have to have a special identity in order to come to your area? because it was minority, because it is minority. It was a policy. Minorities to become isolated in villages, isolated uh, in ghetto. At the time, ethnic Turks weren't just having a difficult time in Greece. In neighboring Bulgaria, during the 1980s, the communist authorities embarked on a brutal policy of forced assimilation, including giving ethnic Turks Slavic names. This was the impetus uh, for the big exodus of the Turks because uh, their names were changed for Christian names, which for a Muslim to have a Christian name is infamous. And in the summer of 1989, something like 350,000 Turks left for Turkey. It's unsurprising that so many left. People were beaten and fined just for speaking Turkish. Thousands were jailed across the country at places like Belene, an infamous detention center where 500 Turks were imprisoned without trial for resisting the forcible changing of their names. But that was Bulgaria, a communist dictatorship. In Greece, the birthplace of democracy, in the heart of the EU, things were supposed to be different. But Athens has always been a world away from Western Thrace, and not just geographically, as we soon found for ourselves. From the moment we arrived in the region to make this film, we were followed by unmarked police cars, stopped and interrogated about our movements. On one occasion, although it was always obvious we were journalists, we were even briefly arrested on suspicion of espionage and threatened with years in jail. After being held overnight, our lawyer secured our release. Evet, burada gelen e, her e, yabancı gazetecinin takip edilmesi e, çok normal bizim alıştığımız e, bir durum. Biraz önce siz buraya büroya gelirken hakikaten ilk dikkatimi çeken sizin aracınız olduğu için içine bak bir polis vardı buraya. Hulya Emin is the editor of Gundem, a Turkish language newspaper. When police intimidation failed to silence her, her paper was sued for 1 million euros. 1 milyon euroluk bir dava yerel yayın yapan bir gazete için e, çok büyük bir meblağ. Bırakın yerel bir gazete için, ulusal bir basın için de çok büyük bir e, meblağ. We encountered several people who were too afraid to speak on camera. There is no question that many feel the pressure of the state. The editor of Mile, Western Thrace's other Turkish language newspaper, awaits prison for writing an article which criticized the notion of state appointed muftis. Mahkeme de bizi e, önce 20 aya 20 ay hapse hapisle cezalandırıldı. 
E, ardından da biz bunu istinaf ettikten sonra en son 15 aya indirildi ve nihayetinde 15 ay hapis cezasına çarptırıldık. Cengiz says he has been threatened and physically attacked by the police on several occasions for refusing to stop reporting on the plight of the Turkish minority. Burada Batı Trakya'da ifade özgürlüğü olduğunu söyleyemeyiz. En büyük sorunlarımızdan bir tanesi de bu. We wanted to ask the Greek government about this and other issues covered in our film to get an official response to the many allegations of discrimination we'd heard. We wanted to give the authorities in Athens an opportunity to explain, to put their side of the story. But despite repeated requests to various ministries, no one was available for interview. Nonetheless, successive Greek governments have challenged accusations of human rights violations in Thrace, insisting that there is not a Turkish minority. As recently as February 2020, outgoing president Prokopis Pavlopoulos made this comment. Whatever is said, the truth in international law cannot be overridden in any way. The Muslim minority who lives in Thrace is a religious minority and not an ethnic one. Greece, like many countries in Europe, has seen massive support for the far right in recent years. Rallies of Golden Dawn, Greece's anti-Islam party, attract thousands of supporters. They use some xenophobic uh, words towards us. Sometimes they say that if you don't like Greece, you can go to Turkey. Why? I'm a Greek citizen. I'm Turkish. It's not my fault. I'm, it's my gene. I'm Turkish, but I'm also Greek. Against this backdrop, it takes some courage to politically represent Greece's ethnic Turks. Sidgeim Asifoglu is the leader of Kif the party of friendship, peace and equality. Ama burada tek söylemek istediğim şeyi tekrar ediyorum. Yunanistan Yunanlılara ait olduğu kadar biz Batı Trakya Türklerine de aittir. Biz buraya sonradan gelmedik. Burası bizim toprağımızdır, bizim ülkemizdir. Dolayısıyla eşit oranda bize aittir. Sitgem says she is frequently misquoted and vilified on national TV and targeted by far-right extremists. Tabii bu röportajdan sonra e, çok fazla tehdit ve çok fazla tehdit telefonu, e, tehdit maili, tehdit me me mektupları aldığını da söylemem gerekir. Seni öldüreceğiz, işte seni de öldüreceğiz, senin aileni de öldüreceğiz, işte çocuğunu kaçıracağız. <gülüyor> bu, bu tarz şeyler aldı. Nevertheless, in Greece's most recent parliamentary election, Kif came top in the provinces of Xanthi and Rhodope with a third of the vote. It prompted a racist backlash in the region's biggest city, Alexandropolis, where Turkish cemeteries were desecrated, tombstones smashed and daubed with nationalist symbols. Seed game remains undaunted. Dostluk Eşlik ve Barış Partisi olarak bir gün mutlaka meclise gireceğimize inanıyoruz. Bunun için de faaliyet gösteriyoruz zaten. Zaten çalışmalarımız bu yönde. That may not happen soon. A national election threshold of 3% effectively prevents any politician representing the Turkish minority from entering parliament, as it accounts for only 2% of the population. The Turkish policy is much stronger than the traditions. Uh, but not politically, no. Uh, but you know, the Bulgarians and the Greeks have tried consciously to, to put it as far away as possible from their everyday political life. Would you say that it's an effort to more or less expunge the Turkish culture? Uh, the Turkish political culture, yes. But critics say that all aspects of Turkish culture are under attack. Architectural relics from Greece's Ottoman past are disappearing fast. 
Practically no state money is allocated for the upkeep of ancient Ottoman monuments, which are allowed to fall into disrepair, and money for their upkeep from Turkish cultural foundations is prohibited. There were more than 3,000 uh, monuments of Ottoman heritage here in Greece. But in recent years, we just have 300. The Greek policy about the historical monuments of Ottomans is let them be demolished. They don't want them uh, here. The Bayezid Mosque in Didymatecho is a masterpiece of Ottoman architecture. It is the oldest mosque in Europe, built in the early 1400s. Suleiman speaks for the ethnic Turks of Didymatecho. Evet, bizim Müslümanlar için çok önemi var. Bir Osmanlı eseri, yani Batı Trakya'nın kalbi burada atıyor. Avrupa'nın kalbi burada atıyor diyoruz biz. Bizler için çok önemli. But disaster struck in 2017 when inexplicably the mosque caught fire. The official version is that sparks from welding equipment left in the building somehow reached the wooden roof, which then caught fire. But few locals believe the story. Şimdi itfaiyenin verdiği rapor bu. Ama öyle mi? Actually, uh, we are suspicious about the fire. The Turkish people mostly believe that it's uh, not accident. Against this backdrop, it's ironic that there's no shortage of ethnic Turks prepared to speak up for Greece. Batı Trakya Türk azınlığı hiçbir zaman e, Yunanistan'ı sevmeme gibi bir durumla e, karşı karşıya kalmamış. E, yani Yunanistan'dan hiçbir zaman nefret etmemiş. Ozan's grandparents, like many ethnic Turks, died defending Greece during the Second World War and its aftermath. Bazen acaba bizim büyüklerimiz, dedelerimiz boşu boşuna mı öldü? diye insan düşünüyor. Düşünmeden edemiyor. It might seem hard to believe that Krako-Turkish relations could get any worse. But then they did. Unable to cope with the growing number of refugees arriving from Syria, on the 29th of April 2020, Turkey opened its land border with Greece for those wanting to enter Europe. As thousands headed west, the Greek army was deployed. Hostility between the two countries was the worst it had been since the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. When Greek soldiers started firing tear gas and smoke grenades over the border, Turkish troops returned fire. A very real conflict was only narrowly avoided. None of which bodes well for the ethnic Turks of Western Thrace. Ne yazık ki Türkiye ve Yunanistan ilişkileri buradaki azınlığın kaderini de biraz belirlemekte. Yani ilişkiler iyi olduğu dönemde buradaki azınlığın durumu da daha iyi olmakta. For now, that is just what Greece's ethnic Turks hope for. Komatini's Association of Turkish Teachers is holding its weekly music night. You'd be forgiven for thinking that you were in downtown Istanbul. The atmosphere is surprisingly upbeat. Yani bizim ülkemiz tanıması gerekiyor. Türk olarak varlığımızı kabul etmesi gerekiyor. Değişmesi için. 